can the question here is to find the centroid of the <coughs> shaded area. So you have two curves. You have <coughs> one curve which goes here, and the equation for that is given by y equals to kx square. Then you have another curve which goes up here, and you have the equation given by x equals to k y square. Now this point, as drawn, is going to be a a, <coughs> or I could say a equals to k a square, or k is going to become <coughs> one over a. So <coughs> this equation will be y equals to x square over a. This equation here is x is going to be, or if I change this to let's say, first you go x equals to a y square, or y will be uh, <coughs> from here y should become uh, x over a and a square root. See, x is k, this is y square over a. So, y should be square root a x. So, the same equation is written into different terms. It's the same diagram <coughs> redrawn. Now we need to find a small <coughs> rectangle. So let's say if I take a rectangle here, and suppose this rectangle is at a distance of x, actually, so taking like this. So it's, it's, it's going to be a distance x, and it will have a thickness of dx. And then <coughs> the first place, where it cuts the bottom curve, we're going to take this distance, and let's say that distance is y1. Then the place it meets, the second curve, we take that distance, and let's call that distance as y2. <coughs> In other words, this point, the point here, that's going to be x plus dx over 2, x and half of this distance, and <coughs> y1. This point here, which is the top of that, that's going to be x dx over 2, and y2. So that's the way we chose the rectangle we are working with. Now we got this rectangle and the area between these two curves, we have to think of that area as the sum of rectangles which look like this. Or in other words, you could have another rectangle here 
and then you could have another rectangle here and <coughs> the entire area is the sum of these small rectangles and <coughs> once we sum the contribution from all these rectangles that should give you the actual integration. So that whole thing comes from the calculus where <coughs> in the limiting sense your dx is approaching zero. So anytime when you have a summation sign, the summation sign gets replaced by an integration. So <coughs> we're going to use the same formulation on working here. And again, you're going to have the same set of equations. First is that this area is midway on the z-axis, so your z-coordinate <coughs> that goes to zero. Then you have the x-coordinate, that's an area integral dA, another area integral x tilde dA. 